How you doing? Can we come and have a look at this? Do you want to tell me all about it? Who wants to kick off? Uh, go on. Uh, well, it detects glass. It detects coloured glass, in fact. And what it goes through is it, uh, it detects RGB values. So those RGB values go into the program, as you can see there, and then that, that goes through current and it pushes all these solenoids, which yep. pushes these gates. So who wants to get a bit nerdy on me? Who wants to tell me what's actually happening? Basically, it's his job. <laughs> <laughs> he just stepped right up to the plate then. He's like, coming through. <laughs> uh, when the bottle passes there, the camera, it takes a picture, snapshot, analyzes one pixel there, and then that pixel has RGB values. So that's red, green, blue yeah. values, yeah. And then, if it's in alpha blue, the blue value would be higher than the red and green. Mm -hmm. And then that would, give a signal, it detects the blue ball, give a signal to the DAC card, which connects, uh, which converts the digital signal into an analog, which powers the solenoids and opens the gates. Gotcha. <laughs> so why have you designed it? What purpose is it trying to, uh, trying to solve? Well, uh, we worked closely with Trinity St. David, and they gave, us a, they gave us a challenge, really, to see if we can build, that, build something that can actually like, detect uh, glass for recycling and, and stuff. This has been used applicably. It's been a, it has world, real life, applicable uses. Glass Tech wanted us to do this, and now they're they're trying to uh, they want to apply this to their um, recycling plants and whatnot. Oh, awesome! So they're going to take your designs, yeah, and uh, and actually yeah. hopefully, hopefully roll it yeah. out. Well, well, hopefully, you know, hopefully. Well, best of luck. It's a lovely piece of kit uh, with a really nice real world application. Yeah. So, best of luck, guys. Yeah. One to watch. So I saw you yesterday as you were carrying this in and you told me it was a fusion model, a model of nuclear fusion. Yeah. So I really want to go. So basically it's like um, a mini hadron collider. So each of the strips are like alternating in um, charge. So it's a positive, negative strip, positive, yeah. So if that's your atom, so what they're trying to do is get two hydrogen atoms to collide at really high speeds so that they fuse to create a helium atom mm -hmm. and then that helium atom would weigh less than the two hydrogen atoms and that's because there's like little bits called photons and that's the energy. So when it goes down here, because the atom can conduct, it moves on to the positive strip and it becomes positive. So it's therefore attracted to the negative strip and then when it gets there it becomes negative. So that goes on so it's basically pulled down the uh, gutter pipe. Cool. And then they collide. So is it opposite? So this one pulls in this direction. Yeah. This one pulls in this direction. Yeah. I mean, it only works that way, and I don't know why, but it's um, yeah. But it's just showing how one particle would speed up and yeah. then accelerate. Um, but of course, it'd be a much higher voltage. But sweet. Yeah. Does it work? Um, yeah. You can hear like the little clicks of when it changes from negative to positive. Oh, cool. So it's it's not fast, but go on and do it. Kind of hear it like click and that's when it's changing between positive and negative. So you can see it being pulled along. You can definitely hear that. Yeah, you guys heard it, right? Yeah. Hey, look, it's made this guy's hair stand on end. <laughs> <laughs> look at it, that was flat before. Yeah. <laughs> nice one. Well, I'll leave you to it. I know that the uh, judges are making their way around now, so everyone's nervously stood at their stands for the next 15 minutes, waiting to hear if they've made the top 10. Uh, so best of luck, everyone. Thank you. Nice to meet you. Thanks very much. Comb that hair back down, you'll be all good.